Hey, what is going on guys? Lewis here and today I'm going to be doing something really cool. I'm going to be showing you guys how to download a Nintendo DS emulator. Um, for those of you who are skeptical, trust me, it's fully working and I will show you toward the end of the video that it is working. Now, if you guys um, want something other than a DS emulator, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below if you want a different kind of emulator and I'll make a tutorial how to do that one. But the link to this is going to be in the description below and this emulator is going to be 1.87 megabytes uh, that's just the emulator the games are going to be somewhere around 30 to 50 megabytes approximately so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this website uh, the link will be in the description below and you just want to scroll down past Gollum over here uh, even though he probably won't be there for you but you just want to go to download now and you want to click that now when you click it uh, pop-ups going to go ahead and pop up I'm just going to shrink it a little to put it in the screen but uh, it's going to tell you to wait a couple of seconds and that's all good and fine and after the seconds are done, you're going to want to click download file. So uh, after that, this is going to pop up and you just like shift, say, you know, save it and then you run it. Now I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. But basically you just want to hit OK on save file and then you just want to run the file. Now what you're going to come up with is going to look like this over here. Uh, the Desu, uh, Desmume or Desmoom, I don't know what the hell to say it, but it's a DS emulator. Uh, so it's pretty much, you know, going to be naked for you guys. So what you're going to have to do now is uh, you want to close out that window where you got the um, the download file from. And you're going to want to go up here to ROM files. Now you're going to go uh, to Nintendo DS. And if they don't have the specific game you're looking for, which is probably going to be like a, you know, a newer title, then feel free to go ahead and look for it like, you know, online or another website. Unfortunately, you know, they don't have everything, but they do have a, you know, pretty good selection considering everything's free. So, um, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to pick a game that I don't have myself uh, on the DS, and I'm just going to go with the flow. So, let me see, uh, I don't have uh, Naruto's Ninja Destiny. And, uh, oh, okay, so it's going to give me this ad run around. Now, if they give you like that ad or whatever, just go ahead and keep hitting back. Just literally, just go back to where you were. And, um go back to the DS thing again I don't know if you can get over that but I, I I'm the kind of person who hates waiting so it was like no I refuse to wait okay so I'm just gonna pick something else because Naruto wasn't showing me that good luck um, oh, I'm putting new Super Mario Bros I actually want to play this alright so here we go it's gonna come out like this you know show you the picture and um, I think there's gonna be like a video for it oh no okay Alright, so what you're going to want to do is, you know, pretty much the same thing, you want to click download now over here. So you click download now and essentially the same exact thing that happened for the uh, emulator is going to happen again. Um, okay, the page isn't done loading. Okay, so I'm going to click download now and another pop-up is going to pop up and I'm just going to have to wait, uh, it's not, I think 9 or 10 seconds in total. And then you're going to want to click download your file and then you're going to want to save it. So I'm going to save it just because I don't have it yet. Now, uh, this game is going to be 1.1 megabytes. Wow, that's amazing. Oh no, I'm lying. 13.7 megabytes. I'm downloading on a megabyte per second. LOL. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your desktop and uh, you want to bring up your downloads. So I'm just going to go ahead and click downloads. And you just want to drag and drop your. Um, the game that you downloaded, not the emulator, but the game itself, you want to drag and drop it to your desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that right there. Okay, now that that's there, let me move it down so you guys can see it. So it's going to be right here. This is Mario Bros. I'm put it in the middle of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my emulator. And I'm just going to go ahead and click File. I'm going to click Open ROM. And it's just going to go ahead and default me straight to desktop, as you can see. So I'm going to scroll down and look for the game that I want to play. And you know, there's black version and white version. I have those already. Uh, if you guys want the Pokemon, uh, black version didn't work at one point, and then white version didn't work at one point. I don't know which one's working. But if you guys want a link, I can't guarantee that either of them is going to work. But uh, if you want a link, I can go ahead and uh, put that in the video. If you guys just go ahead and like comment below and say, hey, I want to play Pokemon. So uh, we did get new Super Mario Bros. And I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And now the emulation, there we go. 
So here it is guys, new Super Mario Bros. Uh, let me increase my volume. Show you guys that, you know, it's a working game. The cool part about the uh, DS emulator is that for the bottom half of the screen, just like as you would tab it uh, for like a DS, you just like click with your cursor or your, your mouse and it works completely. Now if you guys have a USB controller, I'd recommend using that all the time, you know, because it's a USB controller, why not? And uh, you can go ahead and click right over here where it says config, and that's going to be configuration. Now, every time you click outside of the game, it's going to pause the game, which is completely fine. But um, you can set your controller configuration, and if you don't have a USB controller, that's completely fine also. You can set it to your keyboard. It's not that big of a problem. But pretty much that's like the only thing you really want to mess with. Everything else seems pretty good. Uh, if you want to go ahead and play with everything else, I don't suggest it, but if you know what you're doing, go for it, by all means. Uh, you can go ahead and make this, you know, full size. Um, you can save everything, which I like. I completely adore. You can just go ahead and save, and I think that's really cool. So as you guys can see, you know, it's running right here. Uh, just to show you guys um, that it's actually like working, working. I'm gonna go ahead and open my uh, file from when I was playing Pokemon. Uh, I believe I was playing Pokemon White version because that was when I started working for me. So let me see. Um, Pokemon gotta catch them. Uh, maybe. Is this it? I don't know. Oh, okay. So yeah, apparently it is. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna load state because I have my save game ready. And here I am. As you guys can see, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of lag. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I noticed for Pokemon that there's a little bit of lag in the music. And I guess now because I just started my save file again, it's lagging a little bit. But for the most part, I haven't had any complaints. Like, I can go ahead and uh, I can open up my you know, Pokemon. I can go ahead and check out what's going on. Like, I have a Darumuk, a Darumaka that's like dead. And it just seems like, you know, it's pretty cool going on. Uh, you know, I can move around, I can go ahead and I can run in tall grass, I can find Pokemon to do whatever to. Uh, anyways guys, I'm going to cut the video off here, but if you do have any uh, comments or questions, go ahead and list them in the comment section below and I will love to answer them for you guys. Uh, furthermore, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up because I think this is really cool. And uh, also, if you guys do want more uh, emulators, like more videos on like, hey, uh, I would like to see how the Nintendo 64 emulator runs, because uh, I want to play Super Mario, the original one, on 64, or I want to play like Star Fox 64, because it was like, the coolest game ever. You know, let me know and I'll do like tutorials for those, because I think those are pretty cool. Uh, anyways guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch up with you guys later.